Welcome to cryptography class. Uh, today I am going to explain uh, the key expansion concept of SDES algorithm. So this is the overview encryption mechanism of SDES. Then uh, this plain text to ciphertext conversion uh, was discussed in last video. So it is a four step process, uh, initial permutation round one. After round one we shift the values to round two. Then after that final permutation, uh, at last we get a 8-bit ciphertext value. For this conversion of plain text to ciphertext, a 10-bit key will be used. Then from the 10-bit key, there is a need of uh, having two keys, each should have an 8-bit uh, size. So this is the step. So in which K1, K2, so first if the 10-bit key is available, that 10, 10 bit key is implemented for permutation. So after permutation, we are shifting only one bit. So this shifting represents we are shifting one bit left side, left circular shift. So one bit left circular shift was done for the given key. Then we are only taking 8 bit from that 10 bit uh, shifting values. So that will be taken as K1. For K2, after conversion of the shifting, so the same concept is applied. If you take an original key, we should do the permutation. Then the shifting is 1 bit left circular shift. So the answer was available. Once again, we shift 2 bits, 2 bit left circular shift. After that, we are taking only 8 bit from that key. So, that was taken as K2. So, this is the plain text representation. So, how can we generate those concepts? So, it is an overview uh, diagram of SDES key generation algorithm. So, if a 10 bit ciphertext key is given, step 1 is we should uh, apply a permutation uh, combination. So, the 10, 10 continuous bits will be shuffled after implementing straight p box notation so the output of p box is also 10 bit in which the first 5 bit is given to left side the last 5 bit uh, will be given to right side portion and if we divide 5 bits as two halves we should do left circular shift at both side only one bit will be shifted after that that will be combined to compression p box so the input of compression P box is 10 bit and the output of compression P box is 8 bit. So the first output will be taken as sub P K1. Then after finding K1 value, the next notation is uh, this uh, left part that is after left circular shift of 1 bit. The answer will be given to the next uh, conversion part. So, in which two bits should be left circular shifted. So, that will be done for both left half and right half. Once again, compression P box uh, uh, input bits will be given to that portion. Then, the output of that second compression P box will be taken as the second sub key K2 value. So, this is the step process. So now how the permutation is done. So this is the input. So the continuous uh, uh, 10 bit key will be numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. But after a uh, straight P box key means permutation. Uh, this is the third bit uh, key value. Fifth bit value will be taken as second bit. Then second bit value will be taken as third bit. So in this way we should arrange it. So this is also 10 bit value. Then after that, uh, uh, for retrieving K1 value, we are uh, splitting the output of straight P box into two halves. Each contains 5 bit value and we should implement 1 bit left circular shift. Once again, combine those values that will be given as an input to compression P box. So input of compression P box is 8 bit, but we are taking only 8 bit from it. So this is the value. So the 6th bit of shifting value, third bit value, seventh bit, fourth bit, eighth, fifth, tenth and the ninth bit values only taken for conversion of uh, K1 value calculation. So this is an overview diagram of SPS.
so this is the initial permutation l0 all0 once again i am i am writing the answer for this one so the output of uh, round 1 is uh, l1 r1 so it is l0 r0 so for round 1 l1 is equal to r0 r1 equal to l0 exclusive r of round function of r0 comma k1 for round 2 the input is l1 r1 for round 2 so the output is l2 r2 l2 is equal to l1 exclusive r of round function of r1 comma k2 and r2 is equal to r1 so this is the uh, two round function operations uh, notation then the final value will be given to final permutation after that we are retrieving ciphertext value so i am explaining uh, the problem portion of sds in next class thank you